Hey everybody, it's CBS here. We're doing something that people have asked for for a long time, and that is an inside tour of the RV. And what's cool about it is we're doing it on the 360 fly cam, so you guys can see everything. You can go all around, pan, tilt, zoom in, see whatever you want to see. I can't hide really too much from you. I mean, besides the obvious stuff, right? So we're going to start with the entryway. This is my, I guess, rel my front door, which is actually the side door to the RV uh, right here. And let's go back into the living room slash den slash uh, entertainment area. As you can see here, this is my desk. This is where I do most of my work, hang out, chat, conversate, have meals, so on and so forth. Uh, it's a fold-out table. And uh, actually, that table folds down, and these two benches here fold out into a nice bed. If you're on a road trip or whatever, I've never personally used it myself, but you can see it seats one, two, three, four, five, if you count the captain's chair over here, and then uh, six and seven if you count the uh, the front coach area, which we'll show you guys in a little while. Um, you know, it's fun, spacious, roomy. Uh, but let's go up to the uh, upper area here, which has the, I guess it's called like an attic in RV terms. And that is that right here for you guys to see. Uh, you can sleep two people uh, pretty comfortably, actually. I don't, I've never used it for that, but uh, I use it more for closet space. Storage, you can see I've got uh, clothes. I installed this clothes hanger here uh, with by screwing it into the cabinet and then balancing it on a, a hot plate box that I had left over from uh, my old uh, place over in North Hollywood. Um, but yeah, I just keep, you know, whatever clothes props, uh, various other inflatables, and, uh, I don't know, costumes, things like that, tools, etc. up here. Very spacious, very handy. Um, back out here to the living room area, uh, this is actually more of my closet space. Up here in these cabinets, which there are uh, three or four of these, I keep, that's, uh, you know, socks, underwear, and then more socks and stuff, and hangers and crap over here. And that's, that's the main living room area, guys. As you can see, more than enough for any person, really, if you wanted to live in an RV. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, moving on next here, let's pivot around to the kitchen area. And a lot of folks ask me, well, how do you how do you eat? How do you how do you even consume food being in an RV? Don't you you, you don't have a refrigerator and a, and a stove? And it must be just physically impossible. How do you not starve? Well, first off, those people are stupid. And second off, uh, I do have a full kitchen. I have a oven, I'm lower you down here, oven, range, microwave, freezer, and refrigerator. Um, that being said, I use basically none of that. I uh, either eat uh, at work or eat out, uh, ladies, and or I also park pretty close to um, like a grocery store. Like I'm never more than two or three blocks away from any grocery store whatsoever. So. Go to the deli, pick up a sandwich, pick up a bag of whatever. You know, it's it's easy, it's fun, and uh, super cheap and healthy. So don't give me that, oh, well, I'm going to keep my gallon of milk sort of crap. You don't have to if you live close to grocery stores. If you live in a unmobile home, then yeah, that's something you have to worry about. I don't. Um, touring around the kitchen a little bit here. Obviously, I keep a candle lit uh, most times. Uh, it's just because, you know, it's nice, it's fragrant, keeps things fresh, and it's romantic when ladies come over. Uh, I usually have a, a couple bottles of champagne on the ready, as you can kind of see over here. And that's just, you know, for parties when ladies come over. Um, sink area. Oh, and this is actually something that people talk to me about, too, is uh, power. They ask, well, how do you have electricity if you're in an RV? Uh, well, first off, the RV, let me park this right here. The RV does generate its own electricity off, you know, like a normal car battery and then like a deep cell battery, which um, is sort of a backup for lights and stuff that I don't, really don't use too often. Um, but I also have a generator that powers the, the, the microwave, the kitchen, all this other stuff, freezer and so on. I don't really use that too much. What I do use is this cool uh, portable battery that I got from, I believe, the Yeti company, who is famous mostly for their sweet-ass coolers, but they also do portable power. And this thing right here, it uh, it plugs into an outlet at work or wherever. It has solar. It's a solar panel option, which I don't really use too much. Um, so every two, three, four days or whatever, depending on my power usage, I take it into work, charge it up, and uh, I'm good to go with the uh, the you know power for the a fan, phone, computer, 
whatever I need. Um, it's, it's quite convenient in that respect. Um, so that's the kitchen sort of dinette area. And actually over here too, uh, I have a sort of a pantry. You can see my pantry stock, just in case I get hungry at night and there's not stuff around, is uh, mostly soup-based, because that keeps. And uh, over here we have uh, shoes. This is basically a shoe closet for sneakers and whatnot. Oh, and I do actually, I do keep the fridge and freezer stocked. I have enough full of fridge and freezer stuff. It's mostly, uh, mostly booze oriented. So we can see here. Watch out, I'm swinging at you. Booze, drinks, so on and so forth. Nothing too special. Um, but moving on toward the back of the RV. Here we have uh, an additional closet space, which is uh, dress shirts, jackets, suits, stuff so on and so forth, as you can see there. Um, and then here's the main bedroom area, which, as they say on, uh, on, your, on your cribs, is where the magic happens. I'll kind of take you around here. I'm going to turn you upside down so you guys can see this from the above view, uh, or the on top view. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I keep it blacked out, like a lot of people do with their bedrooms, so you can kind of nap and uh, have a nice quiet time whenever you want to. And it's, a, it's between a full and a queen, I think. It's a special a custom uh, mattress because there's a little corner tied off here on the end, so uh, you can kind of get into it and out of it more easily. Uh, but no, it's, it's very comfy, cozy, fits too very easily. Uh, and as you can see here, more closet space area. This is, I think, uh, yeah, extra towels and stuff. This is kitchen stuff, knives, forks, bowls, stuff like that. Um, it helps you reorient, orient yourself. Uh, that brings us back to the bathroom area, and here we have my main sort of uh, bathroomette, I guess, whatever they call that, area. Uh, there's a sink, which does work. These sinks do work. Uh, you have to plug in from a hose outside, a camping hookup, or whatever hose. Uh, I don't tend to do that. I go with ye old uh, jug of water and uh, Germex hand sanitizer method. You have a vanity, and in there is, uh, you know, more toiletry stuff. Oh, crap. Uh, you know, t-shirt, uh, <laughs> toothbrush, deodorant, etc. And this is something I get a lot of questions about is the bathroom, so let's go in there. And we'll stay upside down for this one. But again, it's the 360 fly camp, so you can just, you can do whatever you want. You can rotate it around. Um, this is the bathroom, and uh, the shower... And uh, toilet do work. Uh, again, you have to hook up a, a hose outside. I don't really use them that often because I'm often showering at our uh, ample and spacious gym shower that we have at, at our office in Burbank. Uh, so I use it, you know, I just put my clothes hamper here, extra gallon of water, cleaning supplies, etc. And there's a toilet, which is used primarily for number one. Uh, occasionally, in, you know, emergencies prevailing for number two, but uh, either way, it just flushes right out, and it's no big deal. I mean, come on, guys. How hard is this? Uh, the last about, I guess Greg asked last week about smell, and uh, not really an issue, because number one, the toilet seals up uh, from the tank downstairs. Number two, I, uh, I use these little pods that are designed to like, eat up the microbes and the bacteria that would develop in, in such cases. And number three, I'm going to turn you around here again, there's a vent outside, which I leave open all the time, and which has a cool-ass fan. Uh, see that? Just in case, you know, things get really nasty. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's the RV. That's uh, it's really the, the future of living for everybody, I feel. Like, I kind of feel that people will adopt this and realize that it's the way to go. It's cheaper, easier, uh, less of an impact on the environment. That's pretty much it. Oh, we'll do the cab here real quick. Um, it's basically the front of a truck or van. It's not that special. There you go. So there you are. It's a, yeah, nothing special. It's a Chevy, I think it's a Chevy E350 chassis. So basic truck, nothing too special. Um, so that's it. That's the tour of the RV. Um, if you didn't see as much or you want to see more in person, I'm happy to provide personal tours to ladies uh, anytime you like. Uh, so just hit me up and we'll uh, we'll do it. See you guys.